Welcome Leo, we'll be looking at what it is that you need guidance with uh, using the Avalon Magic cards and the Wild Child Oracle cards and these tarot cards that I don't really know the name of um, so yeah, they were given to me ages ago and um, I don't know if the name of the deck was in the, you know, because it came with a book. So I don't know if the name of the deck was in there or not. But yeah, I have no clue. Anyway, okay. So what are we starting with here? Oh, yes, the Avalon Magic. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look here, Leo. Three cards for Leo, please. Oh, I'm flipping and turning, but nothing's jumping out. What have we got for Leo? One. There's no titles to the, these cards either, so I can't even tell you what it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, Leo, this is the first one here. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to cover up. There is writing at the back here, but I um, want to see what I get from the picture the first which doesn't always marry up with the writing, but it gives us extra messages, right? So, Leo, first off, <clears throat> there's some sort of new beginning here, and um, there is, I feel as though there's been quite a bit of growth in particular areas of your life. With this owl here perched upon this stone, The message I'm getting about this, Leo, is that you've lived a number of lifetimes in different cultures, and I feel like there's a common thread throughout each culture, and um, that you will be able to call on to help you through this new beginning. The stag is standing in the background here too. And this could be about you needing to let go of something that doesn't serve you, in order to proceed forward, Leo. Um, and the stag can also represent intuition as well. And with the owl here representing wisdom and the stag potentially representing intuition, I feel like... Yeah, okay. The interesting thing is that the owl is very visible in the light. And the stag is in the shadows. So I just wonder if your intuition, you need to allow your intuition to flow through. Okay. Um, and I feel like with those two working together, you're going to be clear on the direction that you're heading in. Although, it's not that you're not clear about it. There's just something that's not, I don't know, I don't even know what that is. Um, let's have a look here. Never, uh, okay, this is why, why I didn't get the message. Never be afraid to voice your truth as truth comes from a deep place within your soul. Oh, I love that. Yes. Never be afraid to voice your truth as truth comes from a deep place within your soul. Oh, I like that. The other two cards we will look at as we go. <clears throat> but we're starting with this card first. Okay, two cards for Leo for this card that's come out, please. Well, just like that, Leo. Just like that. Awesome. Okay, we have Mirage here. Ah, yeah, radio. It's um mm -mm. the sea, there's this there's this new crescent of the moon again. So this is definitely a new beginning. But interestingly enough, the rest of the moon is filled in. 
So I want to say that there are things that are hidden, right? Um, and maybe it is your truth. Maybe you're keeping your truth down, Leo, which is interesting because my throat is like, it's having such a hard time talking. And so I wonder if this is representative of you. Um, the other thing with this marriage card here is mirage. Um, it, it's, you know, how in the desert it can look like th there's water, but it's, it's, it's a misperception. It's deceiving, right? Um, not, I feel like not everything is as it appears to be. Hmm, interesting. Let's look further into this Mirage card. Tell me more about Mirage for Leo, please. One. One more card for Mirage. For Leo, please. <clears throat> okay. Oh, here we go with the talent. <laughs> um, it's going to get to the point where it's no longer talent. It just happens. But I do get a little bit excited about it. Anyway, okay, so we've got the King of Wands and the High Priestess here. Yeah, see, this is something that you're really, really passionate about. And um, I feel like it's something that you've mastered already. But it's, it's also using what it is that you've mastered to start this new beginning with. Very interesting. The other thing I do really want to say about this, especially with this marriage card here and what has jumped out already, be aware of being deceived. Okay, be aware of... Um, of actually... You deceiving yourself, Leo, okay, because um, I really feel like with this truth that comes from a deep place within your soul, um, if you're not allowing that to come forth, then you're not living your true authentic life that is there for you to live, okay. We also have the beehive here. And um, I want to say about this is that you don't need to be working alone, okay? Because in the beehive, there's how many bees are there? Heaps. Thousands upon thousands, if not more. Um, and they work tirelessly to, to create um, the honey they create but I want to say that they work as a team as well um oh gosh I don't know why my throat is going like this I'll just clear it yeah they work as a team right but there's only one bee here there's only one bee in this picture and that bee is you and so I feel like maybe some of you may feel like you're having to travel this journey alone but what you don't see is that there's actually a team um, which is right there either on this earth plane or as your guides um, and your team of support who are there behind you backing you up 100% here Leo um, tell me more about this please Tell me more about Beehive. Two cards for Beehive, for Leo, please. We've got the Nine of Wands here. <laughs> okay, and the Two of Wands here. Um, see, this is the thing, right? Is that... Um, Um, Leo, with this new beginning, is you deciding which direction to go in, okay? Um, and the thing is that
there's this um what the heck my voice was fine before i came on here like seriously leo there's a path that you need to travel that you're not being honest about there's a um with yourself okay and it could even be that you're not aware of this um but there is there's a truth that truth within your soul right that is hidden in the shadows and that's what the stag was about it's hidden you've brought out some of your truth but not all of your truth leo and I even find it interesting that the messages are sort of hidden as well. Which is representative of, of you know, it's like working as a bee to build the beehive. And maybe not acknowledging that there are people who can build it with you, potentially, or that it, people are there for you, maybe. But yeah, I still don't feel like that's quite it. But there's this crossroads at, that you're at. And it's kind of like in order to go along the path of, you know, the path that you need to travel, the truth needs to come up. And it's not about going and ringing up the radio station and saying, hey, this is, you know, and broadcasting it. It's for yourself here, Leo. You know, this is a personal truth of yours, potentially. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like this is really, really looking at yourself and being completely and utterly honest, which can be hard to do, right? Yeah, see, even in the Nine of Wands here, with this um, Two of Wands and the Nine of Wands, there's this cross here, right? This cross, and it's kind of like, don't go that way. <laughs> Don't go there. And I feel like that's about digging in deep to the things that you don't want to maybe bring up. And maybe you know what that is. Um, but I feel like it's going to, yeah, because the Nine of Wands, uh, yeah, radio, the Nine of Wands is, you know, about this burden, carrying this burden. And I just wonder if along this path, Leo, you can't carry the burden. The, the path doesn't cater for the burden. And the burden seems to be this truth from deep within your soul, okay? Um, maybe that you've been in denial about or that you don't want to acknowledge. Um, but I want to say here... that there's another way to do things. You don't, you see how this person is carrying only two wands? You don't have to carry all the wands at once. You don't have to carry the whole burden on your own. Okay, and this is what the beehive is representing here. Okay, so we've got, I'm still interested in this, this um, truth from deep within your soul though. Anyway, let's carry on. We've got this pixie looking card, which is gorgeous. Again, see, I'm seeing growth here as well. Um, and growth over a long period of time. But there's this feeling of like, not wanting to be vulnerable. Feeling like you have to protect yourself. Yeah, there's a deep sadness here as well. And she's immersed in water by the looks of it. Interesting. She's been crying. Mm. Okay, this is what it says. Let go of who you think you should be and embrace who you are. Oh, I love it. Yes, Leo, yes. And what you think you should be could be from all the conditioning that happens within society, right? That happens within our families, um, you know, or that we sometimes look outside of ourselves to see what, how we should create ourselves when really the truth is within. 
and that is what needs to be tapped into. Yes, okay, we're on par now. <laughs> okay, so two cards for let go of who you think you should be and embrace who you are. We've got one card out and now the second one. Okay, second one is upside down, but yes, echo. You see how now this full moon is completely lit up. Okay, it's, it's not in the shadows anymore. And I feel like this is about you shining bright here, Leo. Um, because when you um, really get to the truth of who you are and step into that, you're going to shine your light bright. There's not going to be a question as to which way you should go. Um, there will still be you know, along the path, you're still not necessarily going to know what's, what is around every corner, okay, but I feel like you're going to have um, a lot more confidence and, and actually see the magic along the way. Uh, you're going to see that a lot clearer when you are who you truly are, rather than trying to be somebody you're not. Okay, so two cards for Echo, please. Two cards for Echo. And this is allowing in, you know, these people in to, um, to work with you, right? Um, your soul family. Your people. You don't have to do it on your own, Leo. Echo. Oh, yeah, sweet. Okay, so what's this first card here for Echo? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you trying to juggle everything on your own, um, but not really, you know, when you're trying to do that, you're not really seeing what's around you. Okay, and there could be some opportunities that are missed because everything that you're doing is um sorry i've just lost my focus here because i'm being drawn into this card i feel like here leo it's about seeing the synchronicities um about a situation okay and understanding that That is what shows you who your people are. There's going to be differences in those synchronous, um, and you know, with you and other people. There is going to be differences between you, but ultimately, the core is is what is um is what makes them your people, or what makes them your soul family. Okay. You're one and the same, I want to say. Because of these, I don't know if synchronicities is the right word, but there's, there's um, core values or, um, yeah, the core of who you are is the same, if that makes sense. Okay, so what's the other card here? Six of Wands. Okay, yeah, see. This is the thing, when you when you allow this to come in, you are going to have success. It, success, uh, success is going to be easily reached, a lot more easily reached than what it would be if you do it on your own, okay? And, and allow these people in to cheer you on um, because I, I feel like there's a point that you're trying to reach because in your mind that means that you're successful, but there's um, it's necessary for you to be celebrating the small wins along the way, okay, the small successes, because that is what um, snowballs into this big success, right? So, yeah. Okay, so, Bloom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloom, Leo. This is you growing into this, into... Um, you know, well, look, 
a flower, right? Going into bloom. Um, it grows from a seed, you know, and this is where you are headed. You are headed towards this blooming stage of your life, blooming stage. Um, you know, you are heading towards that bloom, and this is what is there for you. Um, yeah, when you let go of the things that do not serve you. We've got death here, and this is about letting go of these things. This is in order for a new beginning to happen, there is usually things that need to be let go of, um, things that haven't worked out maybe, uh, because it wasn't meant to be, okay, and um, or, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but, yeah, see, with this beehive card here, I just wonder if you're on your way to meeting your people, you know, and you will meet your people, your true people, when you step into who you truly are, when you are being your authentic self, okay? Um, and we have also the Six of Pentacles here. Okay, so this is about sharing yourself with the world. I want to say that for some of you, you may feel like you see other people outside of you, they've got their people, and maybe you just don't have any, but you do, <laughs> okay, um, the other thing is with this, is that um, there is enough to go around, so whatever it is that you feel like you're lacking, there's enough to go around, there's plenty for anyone, okay, e everyone, sorry, okay, so Leo, this next card here, we have I feel like you need to clear, do it, um, like clear whatever you're carrying in your heart that is heavy, okay, um, and let go of that burden. You may need to speak with someone about that, um, yeah, because that is, I feel like, weighing you down and, you know, in order for you to be able to tap into your heart and let your light shine, this needs to be cleared, okay? Um, so, allow the true love of your soul to radiate and you shall see the natural beauty around you expand. Oh, I love that. Yes. And it's so true, you know. Um, that's gorgeous. Give me two cards for this card for Leo, please. Allow the true love of your soul to radiate. I don't like how that came out one's okay and you shall see the natural now they're all trying to come out and you shall see the natural beauty around you expand beautiful one more card for that card for leo please it's funny not having the titles <laughs> i'm like just that card but that's okay spirit knows <laughs> okay so yes in a garden wow yep what goes on inside of you is, you know, projected outside of you, right? Um, so this is going to give you a good clue as to maybe what needs to be worked on for you, Leo. Looking outside of you to see what's coming into your life is going to give you an indication as to what, what seeds you need to be planting within. And I'm talking about your mindset um, you know, really, really tapping into this heart space and allowing that to, um, as it says, allowing that to radiate. Um, and, and you can do that when you truly um, respect and love yourself. Okay, if there's anything that you're doing in your life, Leo, that is um, not of the utmost respect for yourself, then that's something that you need to look at. Why am I doing that? Why do I feel that, um, you know, I need to escape or I need to, you know, whatever it is that you, you are showing yourself that you don't have as much respect and love for yourself is what you could, okay? So, yeah. Two cards for Inner Garden for Leo, please. Two cards for Inner Garden for Leo. <clears throat> so, you know, this is also about, you know, 
what do you want to plant you know especially with what you want to manifest do you want to plant a garden of weeds or do you want to plant a garden of flowers and I love that that's come up this card too with all these flowers when we're talking about bloom just before that as well so that's pretty cool okay yep we have the two of hearts here and we have the hanged man okay so it seems like you're stalling on something here Leo um I do want to say about this and this for some of you could be about a relationship um that to see things from a different perspective okay to really tap into your intuition and your wisdom to be honest with yourself okay if there's been a relationship that hasn't worked out see where you know maybe you contributed to that um but also you know if there's a um A potential for a relationship then look at what it is that you want to grow okay um, and what is within you all right um, what is in your cup Leo and what do you want to you know because that's really important right you're in a garden if you meet someone Leo you're in a garden is something that you want to be beautiful and healthy um, and fulfilling so that when you meet someone or the person that you are interested in potentially their garden is a match for yours right yeah okay so because you don't want anyone coming in with a garden of weeds and ruining your garden right so yeah and this is where the two of pentacles i suppose about that core of looking at yes there are going to be differences and stuff like that but to the core what is truly there okay um and that's about those weeds right and this could be in anything this could be with the people that you meet with um you know your soul family or whatever okay really making sure that um you have that garden growing to its healthiest potential so that that's what you draw in and then when you are doing that you'll be fully aware of anyone who doesn't have that kind of garden it's going to be super obvious to you okay because you've already got your garden up and going and you're nurturing it you're um you know loving it and caring for it and doing everything that you need for it which re really is about you okay so we've got this last card here which is reach <clears throat> and I really love this because um the fact that this has come out as a tree um you know this is reaching for the stars reaching for the sunshine okay also reaching out to people okay um and and allowing people to support you again a, a forest doesn't stand on its own it's it's a, only a tree if it stands on its own if you want to grow a forest you need more trees so this is representative of this card here of you know yeah because i feel like leo you belong in a forest okay two cards for reach please nice five of wands yeah internal battle here conflict internal conflict and the three of pentacles i just wonder if you there's a bit of um pettiness between friends um or maybe even in a relationship for you um and this is where you're feeling a little bit like Ugh! This is not what I signed up for. This is not, this doesn't resonate with me, you know. So it really is um, about going on this journey to find your people. Um, and like I say, when you are truly and authentically yourself, those people will come to you and there won't be this kind of rubbish go on, okay. There won't be that, that petty garbage okay because a, a forest can't grow when the trees are all fighting for space 
there's room enough for everyone right there's room enough for everyone there's no no one is better than anyone no one is less than anyone um so yeah i i feel like for some of you maybe you've decided to um go it alone uh because of this kind of thing and um yeah i guess you don't have to you don't have to go it alone because the burden becomes too heavy to bear yeah at times it can become too heavy to bear so there are people out there for you leo who will help you carry that burden okay leo i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye